YouTube, established in February 2005, quickly rose to prominence as a video sharing platform. Originally conceived as a dating site called TuneIn, Hookup, the trio pivoted to create a space where users could easily share and view videos. The platform's official launch in November 2005 marked the beginning of a transformative era in online content consumption. YouTube's early days were marked by a surge in user-generated content, ranging from personal vlogs to quirky amateur videos. The platform's simplicity and accessibility enabled individuals worldwide to share their creativity without the need for sophisticated equipment or technical skills. The viral nature of certain videos contributed to YouTube's exponential growth and popularity. Google recognized YouTube's potential and acquired the platform in November 2006 for a staggering $1.65 billion. This acquisition brought about significant changes, including improvements to infrastructure and the introduction of advertising. Monetization opportunities emerged for content creators through the YouTube Partner Program, allowing them to earn revenue from ads displayed on their videos. The year 2007 marked a turning point with the creation of the YouTube Symphony Orchestra, showcasing the platform's expanding role beyond casual content sharing. YouTube Live, introduced in 2008, enabled live streaming, paving the way for events like the Gangnam Style music video reaching 1 billion views in 2012, signaling the global impact of YouTube. As YouTube flourished, it faced challenges, particularly in copyright infringement cases. The Viacom lawsuit in 2007 raised questions about user-generated content and copyright issues, leading to the implementation of content ID systems to address copyright concerns. YouTube's evolving policies sought to strike a balance between user freedom and intellectual property rights. YouTube's influence extended to politics, with the 2008 U.S. presidential election witnessing candidates leveraging the platform for campaign outreach. The Yes We Can music video, inspired by Barack Obama's campaign slogan, became a viral sensation, highlighting YouTube's role in shaping political discourse. By 2010, YouTube's user base surpassed 2 billion daily video views, emphasizing its status as a cultural phenomenon. The platform continued to diversify content, with educational channels like Khan Academy gaining traction, showcasing YouTube's potential as an educational resource. The advent of smartphones and improved internet connectivity further propelled YouTube's growth. The launch of the YouTube app for mobile devices in 2011 increased accessibility, enabling users to enjoy content on the go. The rise of beauty and gaming content creators in this period exemplified YouTube's evolving landscape. In 2012, YouTube underwent a redesign, prioritizing channel subscriptions and promoting a more personalized user experience. This shift aimed to enhance user engagement and keep pace with changing viewing habits. The expansion of YouTube Spaces, Physical Locations for Creators, in 2013 demonstrated the platform's commitment to fostering community collaboration. YouTube's commitment to original content materialized with the launch of YouTube Originals in 2016. This initiative aimed to compete with traditional television by offering exclusive shows and movies, diversifying the platform's content offerings. Despite its global success, YouTube faced controversies regarding inappropriate content and the spread of misinformation. The apocalypse in 2017 saw major advertisers pulling ads due to concerns about their placement alongside controversial content. YouTube responded with stricter content policies and increased efforts to moderate content. YouTube's impact on popular culture was exemplified by the rise of influencers and content creators who garnered massive followings. The platform's algorithm-driven recommendations played a pivotal role in shaping user preferences and driving content trends. Live streaming gained prominence with the introduction of YouTube Live and the rise of platforms like Twitch. The gaming community, in particular, found a home on YouTube, with Let's Play videos and esports content contributing to the platform's diverse ecosystem. The Rewind series, an annual recap of the year's trends and events, became a tradition but faced criticism for disconnecting from the platform's grassroots origins. YouTube's evolving identity reflected the challenge of maintaining a balance between corporate interests and its community-driven roots. In 2018, YouTube celebrated its 13th birthday with over 1.9 billion logged-in monthly users. However, controversies persisted, such as the debate over the enforcement of content guidelines and the impact on free speech. YouTube's commitment to inclusivity and diversity gained attention, with initiatives like the YouTube Creators for Change program aiming to amplify underrepresented voices and address social issues. 
the platform's role in shaping public opinion and discourse became increasingly apparent. The 2020 pandemic and 2020 underscored YouTube's importance as a source of information, entertainment, and connection. The surge in online activity during lockdowns further solidified YouTube's position as a primary platform for content consumption. YouTube Shorts, launched in 2021, entered the short-form video arena, directly competing with platforms like TikTok. This move reflected YouTube's adaptability and willingness to embrace emerging trends to stay relevant. In 2022, YouTube marked its 17th anniversary, surpassing 2 billion logged-in monthly users. The platform's resilience and adaptability were evident as it navigated changing technologies and user preferences. YouTube Shorts continued to gain traction, fostering a creative space for short-form videos and expanding the platform's appeal to a younger demographic. The rise of virtual events and live streaming in the wake of the 2020 pandemic showcased YouTube's versatility. Artists, educators, and businesses turned to the platform for virtual gatherings, emphasizing its role as a central hub for global connectivity. YouTube's commitment to accessibility was evident with features like automatic video captioning, making content more inclusive for individuals with hearing impairments. The platform's efforts to provide a diverse range of content in multiple languages further emphasized its global reach. The emergence of YouTube Music and YouTube Premium in 2018 reflected the platform's endeavor to diversify revenue streams beyond advertising. These subscription-based services aim to enhance the user experience and offer additional benefits to subscribers. YouTube's influence on music culture was undeniable, with the platform serving as a launchpad for new artists. The YouTube effect on music charts became a phenomenon, reshaping the traditional music industry and contributing to the democratization of music distribution. The platform faced scrutiny over issues of algorithmic bias, with concerns raised about how the recommendation system could reinforce existing biases. YouTube responded by addressing algorithmic transparency and implementing measures to reduce bias and polarization in content recommendations. YouTube's collaboration with educational institutions and organizations further solidified its role as a valuable learning resource. The YouTube Learning Initiative sought to support educators and learners by providing access to educational content, contributing to the platform's credibility as an educational tool. The advent of 360-degree videos and virtual reality content added a new dimension to the YouTube experience. Users could immerse themselves in virtual environments, revolutionizing storytelling and creating new possibilities for content creators. YouTube's foray into augmented reality AR, and interactive features demonstrated its commitment to staying at the forefront of technological advancements. The platform's experiments with AR filters and interactive video elements showcased its determination to engage users in innovative ways. The YouTube algorithm, a crucial component of the platform's success, underwent constant refinement to better serve user preferences. The delicate balance between algorithmic recommendations and user autonomy remained a focal point for ongoing discussions about the platform's impact on user behavior. YouTube's role in the gaming community continued to evolve with the rise of esports and the establishment of dedicated gaming channels. The platform's partnership with gaming creators and the hosting of major gaming events solidified its status as a go-to destination for gaming enthusiasts. YouTube's philanthropic efforts were evident in initiatives like Hashtag YouTube Black Voices and the YouTube Black Fund, aimed at supporting and amplifying black creators. These initiatives addressed the need for greater diversity and representation within the YouTube community. The expansion of YouTube into emerging markets, with localized versions in different languages, emphasized its commitment to serving a global audience. The platform's adaptability to diverse cultural contexts contributed to its widespread popularity. YouTube's engagement with virtual reality took a significant step forward with the introduction of YouTube VR, allowing users to experience immersive content in a virtual environment. This innovation showcased YouTube's continuous exploration of cutting-edge technologies. Controversies surrounding YouTube's content moderation policies persisted, with debates about the balance between free speech and preventing the spread of harmful content. The platform's ongoing efforts to refine its policies demonstrated the challenges of maintaining an open platform while mitigating potential risks. YouTube's response to societal issues, such as the Black Lives Matter movement and climate change, demonstrated its awareness of its influence and the responsibility that came with it. The platform leveraged its reach to amplify voices advocating for positive change. 
As YouTube ventured into its third decade, its impact on media, culture, and society remained profound. The platform's ability to adapt to technological advancements, address societal challenges, and cater to a diverse global audience positioned it as a key player in the ever-evolving digital landscape.